In this video, we're going to talk about some important question sets of CBSE class 10 science. So question 1. Observe the following figure carefully and work out which trait should be considered as dominant and which one recessive. Give reason. From the above given images, we see that the color flower when they undergo cross fertilization with the white flower, the production we see is the trait of the color flower. Now when the F1 undergoes self fertilization, we see many traits are being occupied by the color flower. So the answer will be the color flower as dominant while the white flower is the recessive. Or A. Draw a diagram to show fertilization in a flowering plant, lepel stigma, ovary, and polar nuclei. So fertilization is a process of sexual reproduction in plants which occurs after pollination and germination. In the fertilization process, flowers play a significant role as they are the reproductive structures of NGO sperms. In the course of fertilization, male gametes get transferred into the female reproductive organs through pollinators and the final products will be the formation of the embryo in a seed. In flowers, the pollen grains germinate after the pollination of the carpel and grows into the style by creating the pathway for the pollen grains to move down to the ovary. The pollen tube breaks into the oval through the microfile and bursts into the embryo sac. Here the male nucleus resists with the nucleus of an egg inside the oval, forming a diploid zygote which later swells up and develops into a fruit. So B. After fertilization, snap the part in each case which develops into the fruit and the seed. So from the above uh, discussion about the fertilizations, we can easily tell that after fertilization, ovary develops into fruit and ovules become seeds. Question 2. Why does carbon form large number of compounds? So carbon forms large number of compounds due to the following reason, mainly because of the catenations and the uh, tetravalency. Now catenation, why? So catenation is the property of carbon and a man due to which its atoms can join one another to form long carbon chains. Now in tetravalencies, we already know that carbon has four valencies, so it is uh, capable in bonding with four, four other um, atoms of carbons of atoms. Now, these compounds such as oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen, sulfur, chlorines, and other elements give rise to compounds with specific properties which depends on the element other than the carbon present in the molecule. B. Why some of these are called saturated and other unsaturated compounds? So, some compounds are called saturated because they contain single bonds only between two carbon atoms, but some of the unsaturated because in, the, in this hydrocarbons, valency of carbon is satisfied by double or triple bonds. C. Which of these two is more reactive? So unsaturated hydrocarbons are more reactive because of the presence of the double and the triple bonds between them. D. Give the names of the compounds. So the compounds then will be, uh, number one will be 1, 2, dibromethane and then 2 will be in or write in short how carbon compounds are named according to IUPC nomenclature. So they are named after the functional groups present in them or with the add of a number of the covalent bonds in them. Question 3. Using weight diagrams explain the laws of formation of image by divergent lengths. So, um, First of all, pick a point on the top of the objects and draw three incidence rays traveling towards the lenses. Now, once these incidence uh, rays strikes the lenses, reflect them according to the three rules of refraction for double concave lenses. Then locate and mark the image of the top of the object and then repeat the process for the bottom of the object. Or a true array diagram showing formations of image by the convergent lens when object is placed between lenses and focus. So uh, the ray diagram showing formations, formation of the images by convergent lens when object is placed between lenses and focus is shown in the figure. B. State the nature of the image form. So the nature of the image form will be real and inverted. 
see will the image positions and the focal length be positive or negative it will be positive and keep one application of these lenses for this position of the object will be magnifying glasses question four draw the diagram of a flower to show its male and female reproductive parts label the following uh, on it uh, ovary enter filament stigma what is the function of enter how function fusion of male and female gametes take place in plants so um, enter is the male reproductive gametes in the plants which is produced by pollen grains and its function is to get fused with ovum to get fertilized the fusions of the males and the female gametes takes place at a microbial end. Now, when this pollen gram falls on the stigma, it will get burst and develops into a pollen tube. Question 5. Uh, in the experiment shown, the cat's evolved is past through lime water, which turns milky. Identify X and give chemical reaction involved it. So, um... Lime water is prepared by adding the quick lime to water. Now, when the carbon dioxide is being passed through the lime water, white precipitates of calcium carbonate is formed that makes lime water cloudy in appearance. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.